Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about how to add basting stitches around an embroidery design. And while this is just a one-click tool, there is the parameters that you can, I guess, adjust to control the way it works. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'll make my screen nice and large. And the first thing I'm going to point out is just that the tool we're talking about is up here on my workspace. And currently it's grayed out or dimly lit and that simply means I would need to open an embroidery design before I could use it and so if we go you know looking in our library for embroidery designs and we open up kind of any embroidery design then notice right away the tool becomes available so you don't even have to select anything it's going to go around everything that's on your screen so whatever design you open it'll fit around it and you just click on it and you know, it's done, right? You've added basting stitches. And um, the idea with basting stitches is that they'll sew first. So they get placed as like the first stitches of your design. And they're going to make sure that your fabric is secured together with the stabilizer and just really helps with um, overall securing everything. Uh, it's not essential and some people never use them. Uh, some people use them all the time, you know, and that's the difference. And so you can choose if you want to use them, then obviously you just click to assign them. Uh, let's undo. So they're gone and then go into the program preferences. So that's found here at the top. And when I click on program preferences, um, then to control the basting stitches, notice there's an actual tab that says auto baste. And these are the settings that when you click the button, this is what will happen, you know? And so I guess the main thing is, uh, do you want the crosshairs added? So those are optional. Um, you know, you could have a, a straight up box or the box with the extra crosshairs. The, um, you know, so that's an on off option. The next setting is simply the stitch length. So it's gonna come up for a nice long stitch length, six millimeters. That said, it can be set anywhere between one and a hundred. Um, and then I guess the last thing is how far around the outer edge of the design do you want it to go in? It's currently set at one millimeter, which means it's going to hug real tight. But if I want to take control of these parameters and maybe add in, oh, 10 millimeters, you know, I can simply uh, come in here and type in, um, oh, sorry, I need to slide the slider to add that amount. And you can just click to kind of make those go up and down and um, up as much as 10 uh, or the opposite way down to zero sort of thing. So, and it says here zero to 10 kind of thing. So click, click, click to give it, a, you know, as much as you want kind of thing. And then if I say, okay, that's the new settings. So if I click on the base, then now it's going to have, you know, that extra distance that we asked for. And if you didn't want here, undo. Uh, and then go on to our program preferences for auto-based. And like I said, I could turn off the crosshairs or I could make the stitch length be, you know, longer or shorter. I'll make it longer. So now when I say, okay, we'll get one that is, uh, so I have to click the button, you know, no crosshairs and it's exactly 10 millimeters around the outside and the stitch length would be 10 10 10 so a nice long kind of basting stitch and so it's very easy to use essentially you open a design and click the button but you do have some control over the parameters and that is found under the program sort of settings or preferences with the little sort of wheel at the top and in here there's a tab for auto beast and so those are your choices and that is this week's video of the week. We hope you enjoyed it. And until next week, have a great day. Thank you for watching and bye for now.